Yo, welcome Fronies. So a couple days ago, a big patch hit in Korea that implemented 154 new items where there was 28 weapons. So that means they added four new versions for each weapon and they are not translated. And since you enjoyed it last time that I translated all the sword and shield skills for you, let's go in this video and I will show you all the translated weapons that were newly added. I will also try to give you some insights on if those weapons are viable to get their own build or change the playstyle. So what all weapons have in common is the Black Anvil version. You can craft that one in game and it will then give you 50% soul end and 50% mastery increase for your weapons. So good to level up your weapons to max mastery and especially good to farm soul end which is the biggest bottleneck in the end game for upgrading. Probably easy also to figure out what those weapons are used for. I guess they are just best in slot for farming your abyssal contract tokens. Then the first sword here, the Crimson Demon Crushing Sword, has the Kaiser's first. It's a cavalry effect of the second strike skill that is amplified by 100%, just giving you more sustain. Then the next one, the Dagon Scaled Sword, it's increasing the number of bounces of the Tornado Shield skill by 7 then we are having the Lucinos Ice Sword, which is increasing the damage of Plate of Annihilation by 30% and the target has an 80% chance to be buffed. I think that one is not too bad, because if you are able to dish out CC as a tank, it's really good to peel for your mates. And the next weapon is the energy drink of our sponsor, Rogue Energy. Because we all know I have a couple kilos too much and Rogue Energy is an energy drink with only 5 calories per serving. And if you're going for the hydration one, it's even at zero calories. So it's my energy of choice. You can check it out in the link in the description. And if you use code PONY, you will even get 10% off your next order. Now let's go to the great swords. And here the first one, the giant proof spore poison is pretty nice. Because with the special strike skill, you can now create a poison area for five seconds. But it's not only that that area is dealing damage. It is also reducing the evasion by 300. So I have an idea idea that that one here will be fairly fairly good for pvp the other one the gray ears destructive blood sword i think it's more like a sword and sword great sword weapon that you would use god is giving you more sustain and is going more into a tanky direction rather than an assassin direction but this doesn't mean that like a tank could not use the other crates what we just talked about and provide the evasion reduction for their teammates then next up we're having the pakiru nagos frenzy sword where the valiant fresh reuse reduction effect is reduced by 50% so you can use it way more often. Let's go to the bows where we're first having the Birkin's Iron String Bow where we are now having the option for the decisive bombing to reduce cooldown by 3 seconds when they hit with a critical hit and this can apply 3 times so this one feels really really strong to me especially when you're looking at the stats it also has a big range boost on top which is really good for bow if you're playing damage bow i think that one is gonna be one of your choices here next up the delusna's frost bow is basically giving you additional cc in form of an aoe where your world arrow can now at a chance of 80 percent make the other people's cc so i see this bow more in the bow and wand support version here and then next up we have the leviathan's bloodwind bow where when you use it you will get additional um, projectiles and it's not a single target spell now it actually goes to an additional um, target next to you as long as it's close to your original target and it has a pretty decent base damage with 340 percent now we are finally coming to crossbow my favorite weapon class and let's see what we are guiding here the first one is the fragment of eggman and the extreme rapid fire skill fires a projectile at a random target within a three meter radius dealing damage equal to 100 percent of the basic damage projectiles do not cause a skills hit effect they Extreme rapid fire gust special effect is applied. So it's giving us a bit more AoE, but it's also kind of random, so we cannot target the damage too much. Um, I'm not sure if I would want to have that in a build, at least none of the builds that I'm running. Then we are having the Birkin Spine Flower Crossbow. When a skill attack is hit, 21 mana is recovered for every attack hit for 6 seconds, and we're having a reactivation time limit for 30 seconds. So at first you might think, oh, mana, not that important right but um 
This is basically a crossover of the Rex Shimmerous crossbow that we were having as the tier 1 purple where you get health instead. And I would really like to test that bow because in if you're running the spin to win build that I like to play with the annihilation barrage where you spin like a fucking Beyblade and kill everything, it is really important that you have a high offhand attack chance and we're having 32% here which is like really close to the max of 35% so this is fine and the biggest issue that build has is every time you go in you are almost out of mana and you have to recover mana afterwards to continue your rotation some people even put, need to put mana exchange into their build to have enough sustain and they are missing a damage slot and i think this bow here will most likely be best in slot for that build but i haven't gotten it yet in game but once i do i will let you know and update my guides accordingly Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. So now the next bow, the giant 40s, it is basically an addition like Gale, where when you stack it 10 times, you are now getting like AOE damage, but also the option to pull like the people in the area into the middle. This could be really good. I would have to do some more testing how often you can proc that and if this might be used good in a large scale PvP where you can CC a whole bunch of people and set up for your team. Then we are having the wands. The first one, the Deckman's Phantom, where they add an additional ray of disaster. So you can now do it up to four targets. And the other one, the Giant 40s, it can increase the um, ability of the Absolute Barrier for two seconds. And it's also increasing the effect by 50%. So like the, the mana region effect, like all of that. Then we are having the King Kenzaisen Valor Song, however that is pronounced. And this is 5% damage reduction while you are in the Absolute Barrier skill. Now let's go to the staff, where I think they have have probably the most underwhelming effects out of all the new weapons where the first one the Dagon's Fire for some reason it's called Sword um, is only increasing the fire skills by 5% like even though it, if it would be good it just sounds boring I don't know now the next one the Luzner's Ice Wood here the Hellfire Rain is now changed to an Ice Rain and as Ice Rain usually is right you now have the option to reduce movement speed and the damage is increased by 25% I think this one is fairly nice if you're playing like a staff one support build and then similar for fire the, the gray eye is basically doing the same for lightning and then we are now having a new dagger the berkeley seductive one that is having a really interesting effect when the skill hits all of the target's endurance is reduced by 12% for 3 seconds and all your endurance is increased by 12 and that can stack 10 times so you can get it up to 120 so if you are more of like a tanky greatsword dagger player and you want and you are like in the end game where evasion stacking is might not the only option you can start stacking endurance that would be like a good one i think if you are playing s and s dagger this is probably also a really nice offhand for you then we are having the delusionous ice slash where if you're using the smoke screen skill that if you're using it um, you're actually getting like all that evasion up you are now having also an 80 percent option to give people that are in range um like a i would say it's like a root like a, they call it prison effect it's like a root that you're getting there since the overall skill is not that good i don't think this is worth running unless you're like in a really good combo with people that like listen to every call perfectly you can set up stuff like this then we are having as a last piece the uh levia inspector hand where if you're doing a critical hit to duration of the thunder that you can get um to reduce enemies endurance and stuff like this is being increased by the duration so like every time you're doing one it's 0.1 increase i'm not seeing too much of a value here in regards of pvp in pve we might would have to do the math if this one is giving us a decent amount of um, dps yeah guys this was it with the new weapons if you still have any questions let me know i will answer everything in less than 24 hours as always and don't forget to subscribe because the same video will also be launching soon for all the new tier 2 gear cheers guys